I can only paint what I love. Otto Müller is supposed to have said these words to his sister Emmy. And indeed, throughout his life, his paintings have been shaped by his great love, Maria Meyerhofer, called Maschka. Otto Müller met the six years younger artisan, originating from Bohemia, in 1899 in his Dresden circle of friends. The double portrait exhibited in the Silesian Museum was created just a few years later. It was probably painted in the Sudeten Mountains, where the couple repeatedly stayed between 1901 and 1908. A branch of willow catkins symbolizes their young love. When the couple got married in 1905, the poet Karl Hauptmann foretold her disgruntled parents that Maschka would be Müller's star and his future. The famous poets and brothers Karl and Gerhard Hauptmann were both seeking to promote the young but difficult relative. As of 1908, Müller's career led him to the circle of the Berlin avant-garde, where he joined an expressionist group of artists called Die Brücke, the bridge. At that time, Maschka's girlish slender figure became the trademark of his pictures. After World War I, Otto Müller was offered a professorship at the Breslau State Academy of Arts and Crafts. The young artists were fascinated by his charisma. Being accepted in his painting class was considered an honor. However, Otto Müller never really felt at home in Breslau. In his letters to Maschka, his meanwhile divorced spouse, he repeatedly complained about his loneliness and the lack of artistic inspiration. Throughout his lifetime, Maschka remained his closest confidant. <laughs> 